some new parts came in the mail and these are the cap corners so this is the left hand cap corner and the right hand cap corner and just it's from EMS Automotive in Detroit Michigan and one of the reasons why I chose them for these particular parts is the thickness of the steel like this is I'm thinking this is at least 18 gauge it might even be uh, 16 gauge I gotta check that but uh, these are corners so they've got some real interesting angles we've got the crown here and then it's crowned down like the doors and then we've got this all this along the bottom and if you go and look at what we have here this is where these trucks rusted out for sure on most and so when I had this out of the uh, the back field back in would have been like 80, uh, 87, 88, somewhere around there, this was all rusted out. And so it had a repair done by our neighbor who didn't do a bad job for what he had as tools. If you look underneath here, you know, there was a lot of hamburger down there. And it looks like we got even some holes and whatnot in there. Uh, so we'll have to address and so this is the uh, passenger side I'm gonna start with that and then over here is not as bad let's see if we can see in there not as bad still bad but not as bad but this will take it up nine inches or so and we'll be able to get most of all of this out. You can just see this. This is insane how much. Look at that. I don't know if that was like meant to hang on to the Bondo or what. This Bondo here was at least well, even close to an inch thick. This corner. So what it's going to do is if you can see here, this is nice and clean along here. This back part was real good shape. And then if you come along here, you can see it's not. And so this is just going to clean that all up and just be a nicer finish when it gets painted. Plus, just to know, I wanted to wait with the door as I'm replacing the bottoms of the door. I wanna make sure that I have these in, know that I'm happy with those so we can line up the door and line up the seam of the door. You can see there's a bit of a bend in here as if there was some damage maybe. So not exactly sure what we're gonna get into here, but We'll start taking it apart and looking at it and get that replacement piece in. One thing I noticed when this came is that it has been offset, looks like for a lap weld. And I don't want to do a lap weld on this. I want to do a butt weld. And so I'll probably take this out, but I'm not sure. Maybe I'll have to do a lap weld and maybe that's a better option. We'll see. I'm going to do some more research on that as well. But for now, we'll just start getting that bottom piece out, cut in, and sort of get get where we can see what this bottom edge can line up everywhere. See what we're dealing with. All right, we've got this all, a lot of it cut out. And what we can see here is this little piece here is pretty rusted out. And I'm just going to order another replacement part for that. And, uh, and that, that way I know what I'm dealing with and then try to figure out how this fits in is fun. I'm saying that facetiously, we got to figure out how to get it to where it's going to sit. Is it lining up with that or does it offset, you know, and these, what I've learned from the door and the replacement parts are not perfect. So we just got to move slowly and figure out how this is all going to fit in there. And as I was going, I found, uh, you know, just looking at this piece here, it's a little bent compared to the other side. It's a little bent out. And so it's not a huge deal. And I'm not 
trying for perfection, even though it may seem like it at times, but I do want to get it as close as possible so that it's not a problem down the track when we try and do the body work. So I will get the doors on. I think I'm going to work on getting the doors, the door, this door on with the hinges. And then that way I can, I can have it handy to be able to see the lineup and find, figure out how to get this in with the bottom. It's amazing when you start taking these things apart. There's not much to them. It's just all the different pieces and bends and shaping and stamping that gives it strength. But uh, you can see why the thing rusted out just the way they designed it. But we'll uh, keep working on it. And I started doing a little bit of panel beading as well. Brought this, this one flush. So that's going to be a bit of a learning process. And there's a lot. To do on this back end but again what i'm thinking is on these corners if i can have the corners really smooth that's where people are going to see it is going to be on these corners right here up until about here where the cab uh, box comes in about here somewhere and then of course you're going to do my best on the back but this will be less visible it'll come up to about this high i think yeah it's about this high so we'll try and straighten all that out, but you can see just tapping the metal gently, stretches it out, takes these low spots out. We'll try and smooth it. I don't know if you can see that. Just smooth it out slowly but surely. Might take the orbital sander on there just to see that in a sec. Okay, so you can see, I should have done it before and after, but now I like, take the orbital. Let's see if you can get the focus in on that sucker. Now you can sort of see how the, now where the low spots are, and that's, that's it. We take the, the hammer, got, just tap those out, and you can really see them over here. A whole bunch of low spots. Now, you know, putty, I'm going to put glass on this thing. I don't even know what that means yet, but I watched the videos. They're going to fill some of that, and that'll just be that, but the more I can do it to... To be as smooth as possible, I think it's just going to, in the long run, be nicer. We'll do our best.